All right, guys, today we're gonna talk about an alien looking knife, and this is it. Now, to be clear, this is actually not quite an alien themed knife, I don't really think, but realistically, this is the Civivi and Gavco collaboration of the spiny dogfish. Now, I think a lot of airtime and publicity was given to Gavco's first collaboration with We Civivi, the hyphen, but I I didn't actually like the hyphen quite as much as I like the spiny dogfish. And for me, it was really disappointing when I saw the dogfish and then it basically like fell off the face of the earth. No one really talked about this knife. No one really gave it a lot of time, a lot of credit. And I'm not sure this video will be seen by millions of people. Maybe it will, hopefully, maybe. But ultimately, I thought that the spiny dogfish was the cooler of the two collaborations, the hyphen and the spiny dogfish. Um, I think that this one was just overall, I think that this one was just the overall cooler collaboration. And in my opinion, and I feel like I'm semi credified or I feel like I'm semi qualified to talk about this because I did previously own a full custom Gavco nurse. And so I feel like this lives up to more of what you would actually expect or get if you got a custom um, Gavco knife. I feel like a lot of his um, like collaborations, like even his nurse uh, that was through, I think like drop.com or something like that. And then of course the hyphen, um, they weren't bad knives at all, but I feel like this is the most like Gavco, like actual custom. So if you wanted a, like you wanted to feel what a custom would really be like, I feel like this is very close to it. Not to mention two, and I know that this is slightly peculiar for Gavco because Gavco, for a lot of people that don't know, um, has like smaller hands and therefore he makes a lot of his knives smaller. And so even my um, Nurse XL, which was the extra large version, was still a pretty small knife, all things considered. But what I like about the spiny dogfish is the fact that it is actually like a full size knife. Like you can get a good proper four finger grip on it and still have a little bit of room to spare. In addition to Two, what I like is that there's a nice spot to choke up on the blade. So that gives you even more room on that edge. Now this edge does also have a compound grind. And so this uh, edge back here, I don't think it doesn't feel quite like a hollow grind, but of course it is thinner. And then as it transitions into the belly, you get a little bit thicker kind of meteor edge behind the grind. Also too, you have that very classic um, Gavco kind of um, open hole or really slot that is you know kind of large to small and this is probably one of my least favorite things about Gavco knives because I'm here to tell you if you try to use this thing like if you try to just normally open it with your thumb especially with how small this handle is um, or how spindly it is you really you will struggle so with these um, opening slots whether you get a custom Gavco because my custom Gavco was like this too um, or you get like a production um, spiny dogfish, uh, you're going to want to just spidey flick it. it. Spidey flicks very well and this is running on bearings. So you can see it's very smooth, um, but you do just basically want to spidey flick it. Cause if you don't, then you're going to try to open it. And tr the, the catch with these opening slots is you would think like trying to open right here is where you naturally want to, but you're so close to the actual action that it's very hard to actually open the knife up here. So basically you want to open open a little bit lower on the blade, like right about here. So anyways, when I spidey flick it, I usually put my middle finger right about there and it fires out pretty reliably. Anyways, so if you can overlook those kind of oddities that are natural with Gavco designs, this is a pretty darn cool uh, knife. And in my opinion too, uh, I really got, or I really like the JG10. So that's what I ended up getting. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool blade pretty nice and um, overall it's a, if you remember correctly a 14C 28N blade steel so just fine performance and these things really come in at quite a steal of a deal if you can find them they're usually like right around $60 so really affordable and in my opinion like I said this is probably the closest of all the Gavco like um, collaborations that he's done with mainstream makers 
this is the closest to a full custom that you're gonna get. It has a lot of that texturing that's very similar. Sorry, it's very hard to pick it up on this JG10 handle, but hopefully you guys can see. Like it has a lot of um, texturing on it that would be present on his customs. And of course the fit and feel is pretty similar. Obviously, of course, this is a production and it's by Civivi, so it's not the same as a full production. It's not quite, you know, as hand fit or tuned, but it is a really good, excellent knife. And I personally really like it. This is probably, I don't tend to be the largest Civivi fan, but of all the knives I have handled and experienced from Civivi and we, this is probably my favorite of all of them. So I have to say that this is probably like, the knife that I would recommend the most from them. And it's kind of unfortunate, like I said, that it never really took off because it is a really cool blade and I think it is totally worth attention. There's also a bunch of options too you can get it in. You don't have to get the JG10, um, but either way you slice it, this is a pretty darn cool blade. And uh, like I said, just fits really great in the hand, great ergos, and that blade is pretty darn dope. And it just looks cool as a whole. So I don't know, I really like it. Um, I'm probably just rambling at this point, but I think it is a cool blade. I do think it is worth attention. And of course, as you guys probably know, I love supporting Gavco because Gavco or Michael Gavick uh, is just a really cool, like awesome knife maker. And so, yeah, totally worth checking out. And in my opinion, totally worth picking one of these guys up, especially before they become discontinued. If they become discontinued, I feel like they might just because like I said, they, this knife didn't really catch on. You didn't really see all, a lot of the mainstream, like Neves Knives, Metal Complex, all those guys talking about this blade. So I feel like it never really uh, caught on fire as some other blades have. And certainly his high Fin was a lot more hyped up than the spiny dogfish. Anyways, guys, that is an overview of this blade. Expect to see it around, you know, of course. Um, and as always, guys, God bless, and I'm out.